Okay, in today's video, I want to cover E flat major, two octaves. Um, I want to start with the scale. Uh, we'll do a little bit of that, and then we're going to do the arpeggios, and then we're going to do broken thirds. You really want to do all three every single day. Whatever scale you're working on, it's something that you should always do the scale, the arpeggios, and the broken thirds as well. When you get to a, an even higher level, when you get to a very advanced level, there are so many different things you can do with scales. Um, you can basically practice the whole day on scales. But for now, let's just focus on these three. So, uh, let's just start with the scale itself. Um, you're gonna wanna put your hand in uh, extended second position on the C string. Yeah. So E flat, remember, E flat major has three flats. D flat, E flat, and A flat, okay? So every time you see those three notes, you have to play a flat, okay? Don't play E naturals, no B naturals, and no A naturals, okay? All right, so let's go through uh, step by step. E flat, extend to F, G. Now you're gonna shift to the G string, you're gonna change strings, and you're gonna play an A flat, which is in the half position. So it's a half step below first position. Extend to a B flat. Now you're back in regular first position. C. And then shift to fourth position on the D, which is your first finger. And this is your E flat. So that's your first octave. Okay, so let's just try that. I want to build up each octave so you don't get confused. So. E flat, F, G, A flat in half position, extend to B flat, got your C, that's already in first position, and you're going to shift to fourth position, that's your D, and then your E flat, which completes the octave. So let's keep going from there. Um, start playing up bow. Let's keep the same bowing. So start up bow on the E flat. Your F is your fourth finger, still in the same position. Okay. Now you're going to go to the D string in lower third position, first finger, and that's going to be your G. Okay. And that's uh, if if you. Remember, lower third position, your first finger is where your fourth finger normally goes in first position. So fourth finger, first position, first finger, lower third position. Those two should match. Okay, um, let's see. There's your G, A flat, B flat, still all in lower third. Okay, then go to the A string. And you're gonna play your C in extended second, the exact same position you were on in on the C string. And then E flat. Actually, this is not extended second, this is a, a lower second. You could call it second position, but to be very specific, lower second position. So just a half step above uh, first position. Yeah. So let's try. Um, let's go all the way. Okay, let's go from the second octave. Again, E flat in fourth position, second finger. Okay. And start up bow, so we follow the bowing uh, from the very beginning. Okay, E flat, F, G, lower third position on the D string. A flat, same position. B flat. Shift to C with your first finger on the A string, lower second position. D, that's your third finger, and then E flat. Okay, so let's do the whole scale, uh, at least going ascending, uh, going up from the low E flat to the high E flat. Okay, so slowly. Position. A flat, B flat, C, which is lower second position on the 
first finger. D third finger. E flat. Okay, so that's your uh, two octave E flat major scale in ascending order. So let's go backwards. Uh, fortunately for major scales, unlike say melodic minor scales, you're going to be playing the exact same notes going up and coming down. So it's the exact same thing, just backwards. So let's try E flat, up bow. slowly the whole thing up and down ready four, three four extensions and you're shifting yeah so you're basically only playing three notes and you're just repeating those three notes you're gonna play your E flat your G your B flat and then after you play that you circle back to E flat and then you go back to G B flat, B flat and then backwards okay so um, let's do it by uh, each grouping of uh, three notes yeah so one arpeggio each so let's start with uh, your E flat first position yeah unlike the scale I don't want you to do it uh, with the uh, with the universal fingering setup yeah I want you to start in first position let's just keep it simple for now so E flat open G B flat second finger E flat extended on the D string Two, zero, two, extend on the E flat. Okay, so let's keep going from this E flat where we just finished. Now this is maybe the trickiest part of this arpeggio. You're gonna shift to lower third position. Okay. Now remember, your first finger goes where your fourth finger normally goes in first position. Yeah, so aim for that position. G, lower flat, sorry. Yeah. It should match your open G. Yeah. So G, B flat, this fourth finger, and then the last note, the high E flat, it's right there. It's in the same position. You just have to put your second finger on the A string. Yeah, so from the second octave. E flat, G, B flat, E flat, B flat, G, shift down all the way to half position, E flat. Now 
extend to get your B flat. This is your first position. Open G, E flat. Okay. So um, a very good rule of thumb when you when you're playing arpeggio, since you're repeating the same three notes, and this is only two octaves, you could go all the way up to four four octaves um, when you get to a high level. Remember, your E flats need to match all your E flats, so you're playing three E flats. This E flat, this E flat, and this E flat, okay? Your Gs should match too. Luckily, you're playing an open G for the first G, and then you have this G in lower third position. Those need to match too. And then your B flat, so B flat, second finger on the G, fourth finger in lower third on the D string. Okay, so it's really good for intonation and hearing your pitch um, in relation to each other, not just to a tuner or to anybody else, but to yourself. Okay, um, let's do this slowly, half notes, and going up and down. Three, four. extensions that you have to do you're more or less in first position the whole time so let's do do it one more time and I'll call out uh, what you should be doing with your hand so second finger on the E flat open G four which is an F extend with your first finger to the G string get your hand back to first position B flat extend with your first finger A flat C, first. 
first position on the A string. B flat extend. Keep the extension to get the D. C natural. E flat lower third position. Again, same exact position that you did on the D string. First finger to F. First position, D, B flat, extend. Now you have to shift to A flat. You're doing a two-two shift, same finger shift. A flat again, lower third position. important thing to do is scales, arpeggios, and broken thirds. Okay, have fun. <laughs> 